Welcome to our tutorial about MIDI record modes. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use both the linear and cycle record modes as they pertain to MIDI. As you may know from watching our previous tutorials, the record modes are available from the transport panel in these drop down menus. First, let's talk about the linear record modes normal, merge, and replace. Normal will record a new event over the existing part, overlapping it. You can then choose which event you want to play. Let's give it a try. Press record. Here's our pre-clicks. I'm going to lay down some drums. Press stop. Let's have a listen. Stop. Let's try it again. We'll record right over the part we just laid down. As you can see, it overlaps. Drums underscore O2 is our second take. If we want to listen to the first take, we can simply choose it from the two front menu with a right click. Drums O1 is our first take. Now Drums O1 is our active take. Let's go back to Drums O2. As you can see, in normal mode, we have all of our takes available for selection. Let's delete all these events. Now let's talk about the merge record mode. This merges the new content and the existing content into one new part. If you have a phrase too complex for you to play live, you can build it up this way or build up a drum rhythm, for example. Let's give it a try. I'm just tooling around with Mozart Sonata and C here. That was the first phrase in the right hand. Now let's go back and add the left hand. Return to zero, press record. And I'm inputting the left hand here. Press stop. Let's go back and have a listen to the whole thing. Back to the top. Here's our masterpiece. It's still a little bit slow. Let's up the tempo a bit so it's more like what a pro should sound like. Now we're talking. By the way, note for that this MIDI recording, in addition to my MIDI track, I'm monitoring the audio through an audio track, which has the monitor button enabled. That's what lets me hear the MIDI data. I'm hearing the input of the piano through the audio signal. The third linear recording mode is Replace. Replace record mode works just like a punch in and out on an audio track. It removes any event or part of any event that you record over. Basically, it's like a punch in and out on a standard analog recorder. If you don't set your locators, it'll punch in and out from the time you press record to the time you press stop. Now let's review the cycle record mode options. For cycle record mode options to work, you need to be in cycle mode. This button should be enabled. It's blue or purple when active. Mix is our first option. This is like merge. Each lap mixes the events from the previously recorded events. Overwrite is just like replace. This is good when you're trying to get the perfect take in just one shot. Just be sure that you stop recording before the next lap begins or your take will be overwritten. Now one way around this is to stop playing at the end of a lap and then stop your recording when you're in the middle of the next lap without having played a note in the new lap. Overwrite will only replace when there are new events recorded during the current lap. Keep Last works just like it does for audio. It keeps whatever was recorded in the last complete lap. If you start playing a lap but stop before it's done, Cubase won't keep that lap. But if you complete a lap and stop during the next one, it's the last completed lap that will be kept. Now let's talk about stacked mode. The first stacked mode works just like it does for audio tracks. It stores your laps each in its own lane on the track, muting the previous take. The last recorded take will be the active take. 
This mode works just like how it works for audio. Stack 2 is a little bit different. It lets us build on the content you recorded in previous laps. It doesn't mute the previous laps. This is ideal when you're creating a complex rhythm or want to keep the parts separate, etc. Let's try this out. Let's try some drums. We're going to set our locators and create a four bar loop. Now let me adjust my MIDI track height so I can better see what's going on. I'll squish up the audio track a little bit. Here are my pre-clicks. I'm going to build a little jazz loop. Here are my hi-hats on the two and four counts of the bar. Now we loop back. And I'll add some hi-hat triplets on the one and threes. We loop back for our third lap. And I'll just add a little drumstick sound. And stop. Let's have a listen. Here's our composite merged take. Stop. By the way, watch for the auto quantize toggle button under the record modes on the transport panel. When this button's lit and the text next to the button reads on, new MIDI recordings will automatically snap to the current grid and quantize values without any additional steps being added. You can use this when you want to be sure that what you're recording fits well with the rhythm of a song. We're going to be covering quantizing later in this course. I just mention it here because I didn't want you to be surprised if your playback sounds different than what you played, like too metronomical or with rhythmic values that you simply didn't play. And this concludes our tutorial on MIDI record modes.